Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's me, your girl, Jennifer. Fine. How are you guys doing? Hope you guys are doing okay. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Give it a thumbs up you are needed and you are welcome so guys for today's video if you don't already know i am into hair lately i've been loving wigs making doing it customizing and everything so for today's video um i'm gonna be plucking these hairlines to make it more natural and realistic as possible it's pre-plucked but i want to give it more plucking to my own taste and preference um if you don't already know about this hair i've already done part one part two about this hair this hair is so special and it's suffering because it's been through a lot and um the part one part two is already on my channel go check them out so this is the part three so this will be the process of how to pluck the fuck out of your hair to make it more natural airline and also i'll be bleaching the knot on this hair to have a very very um skin like scalp looking lace this is a swiss lace but i've not bleached the the lace yet so i'll be also doing that in this video so people will pluck their um airline uh, dry or wet either way any any of those methods are um down to your preference uh, and also good as well i'll be using both method to pluck this air today but first of all i want to use a dry method to pluck this air before i get it wet first of all i'm just going to section the hair just because um i don't want to just do a whole big portion of this hair I just want to do it step by step so that I can have time, space to work, if you know what I mean. So I'm using my air clip to section the hair. So, so this portion right here, that's what we're going to be plucking. So I'm holding a tweezer right here. Um, you can use any tweezer of your choice. This is um, a very, very handy good tweezer, as you can see. And this is also a tweezer. Oh, come on. This is also a tweezer, but it has a very, very sharp head. I've not used this before, but I think I might try and use this for this video. So I'll be using this tweezer for this video and also be using this um, single tooth comb as well. So what we need to do is... Um, guys, there's loads of video about how to plug hair online, or maybe not because I've not really come across a lot. Probably few. So... What you do here is comb your hair, your section hair back. You have this first airline stage. So you want to plug like one, two, skip and come back to another side. One, two, skip, one, two, skip, one, two. Right now, you're not seeing what I'm plucking, but by the time I comb this here, you will see any excess that I plucked out. So when you're plucking, you want to skip each step as you're plucking. You don't want to pre, you don't want to over pluck it, and you have a bored um patch or you know a line. So you just want to skip step and pluck. So this is like the baby ish thing. So after you've done your first um step, you take it out of the way and you want to part it and continue plucking so next is you want to pluck we pluck skip step also part it you can do this up to five times as you want your airline to be but just know that natural airline is not really full at the start you always like have a, a part and a space before you can see thickness of the hair in like deep inside your air but right now we want to make sure we don't have too much thickness in our hairs pluck and part i didn't even know i don't i'm not sure if i show you guys before and after but yeah so pluck and part and so you pluck opposite space 
and you come back here, you block, space. So you can also go in the hair without even parting to make sure that it's not too full and pluck. So you can comb this hair. Don't worry, look at look at what we have guys. Look at all the plucking we just done. This is a little bit pre-plucked or plucked hairline. It's not looking more full as it was before, but also it needs more plucking. So I'm just just, just gonna go ahead with my tweezer just in between and start plucking this side. You can see there's so much thick airline and this just like it's kind of has having a gradient if you know what I mean. Anyway, yeah. over to the next stage guys i have pre plucked or plucked our airline um next we're gonna bleach the lace so you can see right here there seems some very very dark black knot so we're gonna bleach them to make him more scalp looking like um i'm gonna spray the hairline yeah because we don't want the bleach to bleed through to over our bleach our like um, hair in the other side because when you apply the brick bleach it can bleed through and start bleaching the airline over this side so you want to apply some water to that area in case when bleach is trying to bleach through it stop processing after applying some water all over our hairline you want to flip this hair over because it's already sewn into a cap before when you have it just in lace frontal you will probably pre bleach it before you like um do it into a wig but because i've already done this into a, a wig so this way i will have to flip the hair over so i have mixed um three scoop of a bleaching powder and a cream peroxide to give us this um this space or this consistent you don't want to make your mixture very thick or very runny if it's too runny it's gonna um, bleed through if it's too thick it's gonna process really really fast so you want to have a media consistent and mix that together make sure you protect your skin at all times and also mix this very well so it becomes a very smooth paste and also do a stand test so your mixture is not falling so that you know you have the right consistent once you're satisfied with your mixture you want to go uh, go over and start laying this on your lace don't put too much pressure like like press it in like that i just want to do a dappy motion and spread that product around the lace
so we're gonna leave this on for 20 minutes and we keep on checking it to make sure it's not over processing or even bleaching through and after that we go wash it off with our proper conditioner and shampoo so guys we're back and after 20 minutes this is what we got for our bleached lace is looking very very brownish i didn't leave it longer than 20 minutes probably if i have left it longer i would have gotten a very proper brown but this is not bad you can also finish it off with a foundation if you want to so talking about skin like a line as you can see that is my skin is looking ella real as possible like a scalp skin like you know the drift anyway So this is the finished look guys this is the finished pre-plucked airlow and also our bleached lace thank you guys for watching this video i hope you guys learned something and enjoyed this video if you did don't forget to give this video a thumbs up subscribe to my channel and please come back for more this is the part three i'll also be continuing more series like part four or wherever i come across with by the time i finish with this hair i'm gonna do part four styling and everything and how i fix it on my hair i hope you guys be waiting for that so this is what we cut out uh what we um tweeze out of this hair you can see it's quite a lot of hair with tweezer this is how we achieve our natural airline pre plot look i hope you guys enjoyed this video um i will go ahead and plug more of this middle part section to the way i want it but thank you guys very much and i will be seeing you guys in my next video so don't forget to subscribe to this channel give this video a thumbs up click the notification bell icon and leave your comment below on your thought on today guys i will be seeing you in my next video so take care of yourself and peace